Hi, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. This is The Dream Medium. Oops, before we get started, don't mind me, you guys. I forgot to... Alrighty. Give me one second. All right, let me put the light on. That is much better. All right, so in this reading, I don't even know what to title it, but pretty much we're going to be getting to the bottom of this love, all right? The year's about to end. We have, what, about three more months to 2020, okay, till 2020 is over. If there's any closure that you need, any concerns, any worries, we're going to talk about it in this reading, all right? This reading is to pretty much relieve you of any stress that you have because 2020 has already been a tough year for all of us worldwide, you know? I want us to go into 2021 without any past baggage, all right? So I'm going to be doing my hardest to pick up on as many love situations as I can. This reading is not for just one specific sign. This is for all signs. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't, all right? We are going to go in. So I have my notebook right here just to keep me focused. The three topics that we will be hitting is what are their feelings? I don't care what happened in the past. I don't care what you have concluded. We're gonna talk about what their feelings are because a lot of you guys are in a situation where your, your person is not being transparent about their true feelings, okay? Some of them have tried to move on. Some of them are dealing with other people, but deep inside, you take away that pride and ego, they have feelings for you, all right? So just clear your head of what you think, what ifs, what could haves, what you heard, we are going to be talking about their true feelings. If you take away that mask, if you take away their pride, their ego, we're looking in their heart space. The second topic is what is the blockage? All right. What's the blockage? The third, the, the, the third topic is what's the lesson? What were you supposed to learn in this connection? All right. So let's get started. Like I said, this is not for any specific sign. It's for everyone take what resonates, leave what does not. All right, you guys? So, what are what are their feelings? Tell me about their lover's feelings. What are their feelings? Ooh. Page of Pentacles came out. All right. What are their feelings? What are their feelings? What are their lover's feelings? What's the lover's feelings? What is their love interest's feelings? All right, four of wands, ace of cups. We're moving forward. We are moving forward. Stop thinking about what happened in the past. What happened in the past already happened. It cannot be changed. Your person isn't even holding on to what happened in the past. They're not seeing the cards here. They're not. Clarify the page of pentacles. You have the nine of swords. You have the moon. They're about to confess something to you. Four of wands. You have the five of cups. Lots of guilt that they're having. Yep, lots of guilt. The chariot, lots of guilt on the back. Six of pentacles. I see this so clearly. I also want to take out the hermit because, yeah, we're just... The back of the deck always exposes the situation furthermore, at least for me as a reader. Clarifying the ace of cups. You have the devil. Seven of wands. Boy, oh boy like they're obsessed with you you have the fool my goodness let me tell you guys 2020 and it's so crazy because i said this earlier in the year i said 2020 is the year of exposing it's a uncomfortable year for all of us but if you reflect on how 2020 has has been a lot of things have been exposed whether it's about our own personal lives about other people their intentions things that were hidden in the dark for a very long time you know it's coming out i feel like 2020 is just one big tower moment for all of us but 
what are their feelings for you, right? You have the Page of Pentacles being clarified by the Nine of Swords, you guys. With the Page of Pentacles here, yes, you're about to get communication, so you don't just have to take it from me. You'll see it for yourself. Communication is coming. This is positive communication. Pentacles representing, for some reason I'm hearing growth, but typically Pentacles represents abundance, okay? This is communication that will, that will move the two of you forward. In clarity of the Page of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Swords swords. This person has been having sleepless nights over you because they don't know how they're finally going to come forward. I really feel like you're dealing with an individual who has a fear of opening up to people, who has a fear of being vulnerable, all right? And we're going to be nice. We're going to be understanding, all right? Typically, people who are like this, who do not like to be vulnerable, who hide their feelings, but you know, they're still kind of obsessing over you. Sometimes it's because they have some abandonment issues. Perhaps in the past, when they did open up to someone, that person left them or that person really, really hurt them. So that's just a trait of theirs that they struggle with, you know? Um, and I feel like with the Nine of Swords here, their lesson that they've been rejecting, they've been resisting this lesson here. The lesson is that they need to heal a lot of their wounds when it comes to accepting love, showing love, they need to heal. So this time, finally, they're being forced to conf confront their fears and open up to you about how they feel, all right? In clarity of the page of pentacles, you have the moon. The thing with the moon is typically, yes, this is something that's hidden from you, but it's going to be revealed, all right? It's like something's going to come to light. And what is going to come to light is that they want to move forward. What's gonna come to light is their feelings for you. But I'm gonna double check for those of you who are a little bit, you know, paranoid of this individual and their intentions. Some of you are probably like, no, the moon is them cheating. Maybe, it's general, take what resonates. But for the majority of you, for the masses, in clarity of the moon, the six of swords came out. They want to move forward. I feel like this person is going to come clean though. There is going to be a confession here. Let me see if I can pick up on some of these confessions they're going to have. The wheel of fortune. Yeah, ten of wands. A lot of them are going to come clean about a karmic cycle that they were in. Look, the justice is, is out. I feel like this individual has been going through tower moments, big time, big time tower moments. When the wheel of fortune comes in, this is a karmic wheel. What goes around does what? Comes right back around. So if there was in any kind of karmic control, um, you know, just people who do not have their best interest, people who are trying to manipulate them, people who are trying to uh, confuse them, those people have been exposed and this person has been freed from that karmic tie, hence why they're finally going to be coming towards you. You even have the justice here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I'm telling you, stay alert because a lot of people in your in your person's life, they are about to get exposed, all right? I'm strongly sensing that your person really has some sneaky people around them. You have the wheel of fortune being paired with the justice. Even so, this is also saying that if your person did anything sneaky to you, they're going to come clean, all right? Especially here with the justice, they will come clean. It will be exposed. On the back of the deck, I got to be honest, look, the three of cups is out. So this is either, like I said, them being in a karmic situation with a third party. This third party does not, a third party doesn't automatically means someone that they were intimate with you know this could be a relative this could be a friend um this could be anyone but this is someone who really um had this person confused conflicted manipulated all of that stuff all right um but i feel like this person's idea of you is so clear you know there's no longer anyone trying to confuse them about you anyone trying to hold them back especially here at the nine of pentacles this is independence like i said earlier they have freed themselves from any mind control from any karmic ties manipulation with the nine of pentacles here it's like i don't need anyone because i know what i need to do now all right Next, you have the Four of Wands being clarified by the Five of Cups. So I do feel like 
with the four of wands here they want to reconcile they want redemption they want the two of you to get to a better place they do not like how there's tension between the two of you in clarity of the four of wands you have the five of cups this individual here that you're dealing with is taking blame for a lot of the things that you know a lot of the mishaps in this connection with the five of cups i always say this is like crying over spilled milk really feeling like they did you wrong and trying to fix their mistake you do have the ten of swords so they did indeed betray you this hurt you to your core it made you feel very very defeated there was something sneaky that they did for and it's going to differ for some of you you know, maybe they chose someone else over you. For some of you, maybe they were, you know, blindly being strayed away from you from uh, by another person. It's going to differ. But the point here is they recognize that they did betray you, that they did you really wrong. All right. Um, in clarity of the four of wands, you do have the hermit. So now they're very fearful that you are done. Your cup is full. I feel like a lot of you have been retreating. I feel like with the hermit here, a lot of you just, it was a silent, a silent leave for a lot of you. You, you didn't give this person a reaction like you typically do in the past. This is just you packing your bags and leaving, or this is you just silently cutting them off. You've had enough, you know, some of you, some of you could have even ghosted this individual but they're feeling like, wow, I really pushed my person this time around. I really messed up. In Clarity of the Four of Wands, you have the Six of Pentacles, all right? So with the Six of Pentacles, because of all these fears about you leaving and not coming back, they're now feeling like it's an unrequited love. They're feeling like, wow, my person just deserted me pretty much with the six of pentacles here they're feeling like now they're the only one who is still holding on all right in clarity of the four of wands you have the chariot oops you have the chariot here they do not want you to move forward clear as day they do not want you to get away from them all right on the back of the deck we're about to expose them. You have the Page of Swords. So this person is most likely watching you. The Page of Swords, for me, this is someone who's having a hard time moving on from you. This is someone who does want to communicate, but they're not sure when is a good time to come in and give this communication because they know that they're on your bad side, pretty much. But I do feel like a lot of these people are watching you, especially for those of you who are on social media, all right? Ace of Cups being clarified by the devil, all right? So with the Ace of Cups here, they do want to offer you a new beginning. They want a second chance. Truly, sincerely, I can feel it in their heart in their heart space. I can feel that they do regret it and they are feeling really bad. Um, I can feel that for this new chapter, they want to do things differently. So much to the point where with the devil here, I feel like they're obsessively thinking about you okay they're obsessively thinking about because with the devil here yes it represents toxicity or unhealthy behaviors but i feel like with the devil um this is just their mind uh their mentality where they've been in their head a lot they've been um obsessively thinking about the situation and if they would be able to get a second chance or a new beginning with you in clarity of the ace of cups you do have the seven of wands all right. So with the seven of wands here, um, they know that you're on to them. They know that you've caught them. Like a lot of them were doing sneaky things behind your back. They know that, you know, it's almost like you're the high priestess, even though the high priestess isn't in this deck right now, they know. All right. So it's like, they have to be very careful with the way that they approach you. Okay. In clarity of the ace of cups, you do have the fool. Okay. So Right now, what they're wanting to do is to take this risk as much as they know that they're in trouble, okay, um, that they're not on your on your good side with the fool here. That's why they're coming out as the fool because they don't know what they're walking into. They don't know what your response will be. So with the fool here, they're wanting to take a risk towards you to offer you this new beginning, all right? 
those are their feelings for you, all right? Now, let's talk about what the blockage is, all right, between the two of you. All right, what's the blockage between these two lovers? What's the blockage? Ten of Swords, Five of Cups. Someone here feels like the damage really has been done. You know, like you've closed the door on them. Let's see. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. Communication is the blockage. I'm going to pull out more cards because it's going to it's going to vary for all of you what the the blockage is. Clarify the 10 of swords. You got two communication cards, so definitely there's a blockage in communication. Someone here is scared. Wheel of Fortune, yeah, they've been caught. They've been caught. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. When that Wheel of Fortune comes out, man, that's like, it's a karmic wheel. Karma's gonna come get someone here. It's like the Wheel of Fortune is saying you either have fortune on your side or you have misfortune it all depends on what you did in the past so for anyone who is doing foul play doing sneaky stuff they've been caught clarify the ten of swords what is this feeling of betrayal about <clears throat> was it this that came out oh ten of pentacles let's take out one more just to make sure Page of Swords, so many pages. Pages represents uh, communication. You have the Five of Pentacles here. Oh, wow. When I looked at the, the Page of Swords, what I heard is that they, they found out something here. All right. They found out something. So for the blockage, it's going to vary, which is why I pulled out a bunch of cards. But for the Ten of Swords, for some of you, what the blockage is, is that this person's feeling defeated by you. They're feeling like you stabbed them in the back. Like, yeah, you know, they may have done something sneaky to you, but now they're feeling like whatever this situation is, they're also feeling defeated by you as well. Especially here with the Wheel of Fortune, the tables have turned. Those of you who were in some kind of very unhealthy and should not be romanticized, runner chaser dynamic the tables have turned they are now the chaser you are now the runner because they're feeling like it is an unrequited love that hence why with the ten of swords here they're feeling too defeated to come towards you they they're they don't even know what to say this person's speechless i do feel like for a lot of you guys with this page of pentacles i mean page of swords excuse me with this page of swords here they did find out something about you through social media it could be that you are seeing someone else um, but this was very unexpected, unexpected, whatever it is that they found out, which is why they're feeling so, so hurt. So the both of you, for a lot of you, this is a soul connection. This is a soulmate connection that you're dealing with because I feel like a lot of you guys are mirroring each other's feelings just as you're hurt because you found out something. They're hurt because they found out something about you as well. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I even feel like a lot of them are still on your social media trying to find some kind of proof of what they believe you know, you've been doing, you've been up to. For a lot of you, they feel that you are with someone else, okay? In Clarity of the Ten of Swords, you do have the um, Five of Pentacles. This is sort of feeling like, like a breakup to this individual because it's like with the Five of Pentacles, they do not want you to detach. They don't want you, you know, they feel like you broke the loyalty between the two of you um regardless of what happened in the past i do feel like this individual 
in their mindset, all they knew is that eventually, eventually the two of you would be together. Whether they were with someone else, whether things were not working out, they were still holding on. It's like the two of you had this mutual understanding that you guys were together, even if it's not physically, spiritually, because this is a soulmate connection is what I'm sensing. The two, it's like a pact. No matter what's happening right now, eventually we're gonna get, we're gonna be together. That is kind of unhealthy though. That's an unhealthy pact to have with someone, but they're feeling like they've been cheated on. They're feeling like, whoa, wait a second, you have someone else? <laughs> and it's funny because some of them have literally been in relationships and it hurt you, um, but they were probably not expecting you to get with anyone. Um, so yeah, with the five of pentacles here, they do not want you to move forward and stop seeing the potential. In clarity of the 10 of swords, you have the 10 of pentacles. They feel like um, there's no more hope. You know, I literally just said seconds ago, a lot of them really believed that regardless of what was happening, you and them would have a future together. But seeing now, there's a reason why you have 10 swords and then a 10 of pentacles came out because all their dreams about you have been crushed. Okay, this person feels like there's there's no hope, that they that they will most likely not get this future with you because of some tower moments that happen, but mostly I feel like for some of you, it's because they feel like you have moved on, especially for those of you who are with someone. And look, you have your confirmation on the back of the deck. With the Knight of Swords here, this is them coming in. Okay, this person's hurt. This person's really, really cold. And um, I do feel like they will hurt you back, all right, because of what's going on. It's like they feel like you've been cheating on them. Um, for some of you, you know, it's, a, it's an interesting situation because you guys are not even officially together. But like I said, in their mind, they felt like they, this whole time you and them understood that eventually we will be together and you know what that's just there that's on them because you cannot expect someone to wait on you forever okay but they will come in but i feel like this kind of communication is not going to be what you expect okay it's not going to be romantic it's going to be how dare you you know how dare you think that you can just leave me in the cold um so you have the five of cups here clarify the five of cups crying over spilled milk having lots of regrets clarify the five of cups oh so you have the star clarify the five of cups yeah they feel like um they feel like there's no hope pretty much literally it's like they're grieving a loss Okay, they're grieving a loss. And then you have the Nine of Wands. All right, so um, in Clarity of the Five of Cups, you have the star. They see you as the star. They see you manifesting something else, going towards someone else. All right, um, with this Knight of Cups here, I do want to see, is this them or another person? Because a lot of you guys have found new love. If you haven't, very soon, you are going to be with someone new. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Is this their current lover or is this a new love? Clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify. Ooh. All right. So you have the Hierophant, you have the Queen of Wands, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is actually them. This is them figuring out how they can come towards you. Um, they're carrying this night energy because they're freaking scared about what your reaction will be. Um, they know that you're the queen of wands, so they are on your radar and they know that you are upset with them, all right? But they're, they, they're also intimidated, you guys, because they see you as the queen of pentacles. So they see you as someone who's like very... <clears throat> I feel like this individual puts you on a pedestal. It's like they look up to you. Some of you are very um, established, accomplished, successful people, and it's quite intimidating for them, which is why with the higher font, they're trying to uh, most likely seek advice. I do see that they're talking about this with trustworthy people. Um, I see that they're, they're talking about you in this situation to someone who's older, all right, to so someone who's older because they they're trying to get some wisdom on how they should how they can handle this situation here that they've caused. All right, um, in clarity of the five of cups, the nine of wands also came out. So I just feel like this individual needs to be very careful. Um, 
with their mental because sometimes the nine of wands is someone who is like stuck in their head you know they're very upset about the way things went and the way things are currently going and they're they're very um um, discontent pretty much with the nine of wands here. It's like they're unhappy, but they don't know how to change it. I, I feel like every second of the day, this individual is thinking about the situation and it's causing them to be very grumpy, very, very grumpy, very bitter, and also very paranoid. Um, so that's also a blockage. The fact that they cannot get over the mistakes that they made in the past or some kind of situation that they are causing they're causing fault, um, not causing fault. They're taking blame. They're taking blame for what it is that they did, okay? It's like they're having a hard time forgiving themselves. Interesting. What is this mess up that they did? What's this mess up? What is it? What is it that they've that they're taking blame for? What are they taking blame for? What are they taking blame for? Four of Cup, Page of Pentacles. Um, I okay, so I literally just heard they're taking blame for um coming in too late. Coming in too late. I feel like this person really feels like you are getting fulfillment elsewhere. Mm -hmm. The Four of Cups is typically someone who feels rejected. So they feel like they should have came in sooner. Oh, wow. Yeah, some of them could even be regretting not taking your offer and instead dealing with people who they know were not genuinely fulfilling them. Mm -hmm. And you have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of them, it's not coming in sooner and not expressing how they feel. Yeah. Page of Pentacle, uh, Page of Wands, excuse me. This is the Page of Wands. Clarify the Page of Wands. Oh, wow. These cards are very jumpy today. Queen of Pentacles. Verify the page of wands. It's this blockage here. So there is communication and blockage. Some of you, they literally feel blocked by you. You could have blocked them on social media, blocked them on your phone. Just something that you did where they don't have access to you anymore. So they're really having to put two and two together about how, yeah, two and two together about how they can... Um, still communicate with you. They're carrying this emperor energy, so they're going to figure it out because the emperor, I always say, like when the emperor wants something, he will sit and strategize on how he can get it. This is someone who has a lot of control over their life. Like I said, this person has gone through a tower moment. So if they were under any kind of manipulation, any, you know, any ties, they've left that. They've been freed from that. So this is someone who's really trying to go towards what it is that their heart wants instead of doing what it is that other people want want them to do but let me tell you sometimes the emperor you know he the emperor wants to get their way so much that it doesn't even matter what kind of tactics they use you even have the magician here so for some of them they may try to manipulate you it's like any strategy that can get this communication to you they'll do it all right um so in clarity of the page of wands you do have the queen of pentacles here I want to look more into the Queen of Pentacles because this is the second time that it's come out. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Oops. Ace of Cups. I'm going to take that Ace of Cups. Oh. Oh, okay. This is pretty much, we'll take it all. This is pretty much just them being intimidated. Yeah, they see you as um, bingo. They see you as this, this queen of pentacles. A lot of them feel like you're far ahead of them, okay? It's like they feel like you are better than them with some aspect of your life. Like this is someone who admires your success. They see you as very hardworking. So it's like, how can I approach them? They're like, how can I approach them 
where, what can I even give them? Because this is someone who has a lot. They're seeing you as the queen of pentacles. They feel like you have everything. You have a lot of abundance. So it's like, how can I get on their level? Or what can I offer that's valuable, that they will see as valuable, you know? Um, even here with the nine of cups, they feel like you have all the fulfillment. They feel like you have so much fulfillment. So it's like, how can they, you have nine cups here. You're very content, okay? They feel like you have everything that you want. The maximum amount of cups is 10. You have nine. So they're like, love. Love is most likely what they're missing. Maybe I can give them their 10th cup. I can give them something here that they don't already have. All right? Um, and clarity of the page of wands. No, we were looking into the queen of pentacles. Yeah, ace of cups. This is a new beginning, an offer of a new beginning. They see you as a queen of cups as well. They know exactly what you bring to the table. When I tell you this person's really praising you, like they just feel like you're just like this goddess or something um and then you even have the two of swords here all right so they they don't know that's the thing they're trying to that's why a lot of them are keeping an eye on you um or trying to find something out about you because they don't know how they can come to you where you would accept them back you know um in clarity of the page of wands you have the six of wands here Hmm. I feel like they may, um, some of them may, I am sensing a little bit of a man manipulative tactic to get you back, um, because they're so desperate to reunite. Some of them may go through people that you know to try to get you back. Yeah. They may go through people that you know, especially here with the magician, with the magician. This is someone who is quite crafty, you know, when the magician wants something, even if there's a blockage, you know, the magician, the magician will find a way to get what it is that they want. All right. So you have the page of cups. Clarify the page of cups. Another blockage here in communication. Clarify the page of cups. Let's see. You have the strength. Yeah. So I know it. I know what it is already. I feel like this, the, the other communication blockage is them opening up their heart to you and, and being vulnerable, like we spoke about earlier, them telling you how they feel. The page of cups is sometimes seen as an immature energy. This person doesn't know how to open up to people, you guys. Um, so I want you guys, you know, even if they made you upset, try your hardest to be understanding because I do feel like this person has a troubled past. I really, really do. Um, clarify the page of cups. Let's see. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, the Hermit. Mm -hmm. They are going to be getting out of this Hermit mode here. Like I said earlier, they're going to be coming towards you. But I feel like with the Page of Cups, it's you're dealing with someone who doesn't really like to come off strong. This person likes to be lighthearted. Even if they like you, they just like to be joking around, having fun, teasing you. It's hard for them to really like look you in the eye and say, I'm in love with you and I've been in love with you. Um, I'm interested in you. I want us to move forward. You make this person so nervous. Um, and so when they come towards you, like I said, a lot of you guys don't expect something mature and romantic. It'll kind of be a little bit childish. Um, especially in clarity of the page of cups here with the strength. This is them. Like I didn't I say earlier, they're going to have to confront their fears of being vulnerable. The strength card came out when I said that earlier and the strength card is here clarifying the way that they communicate about their feelings. So, you know, this is their first time trying to overcome that fear. So at least give them a little bit of credit or be understanding. Um, in clarity of the page of cups, you have the knight of pentacles and you have the hermit. So with the knight of pentacles here, the knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy. My goodness. If someone comes towards you as the knight of pentacles, it means they've taken forever to finally express something to you here. This is a pentacle. So they're going to be expressing their love and that they're interested in you romantically. You have the hermit here. All right. So this is, you know, they were in hiding they were in hiding in the past. Now they're having to come out and express how they feel. So those are the blockages here that they will definitely have to overcome if they really want to make this work. And a lot of them do. So lastly, let's look at the lessons. Lessons for you. All righty. 
what are their what are the lessons about this connection lessons that they needed to learn lessons that the watcher needed needed to learn oops lessons of this connection page of cups man if they don't stop crying over spilled milk okay if they don't stop with these regrets seven of swords the high priestess that makes perfect sense here clarifying the five of cups you have the nine of wands oops Cups. You have the five of wands. Ooh, yeah. They regret getting other people involved in this. Yeah, six of pentacles. <sighs> Definitely. They regret it. But I feel like one of the lessons with the five of cups. Ooh, you have the queen of swords. Um, the lesson here for the both of you is not you know you guys shouldn't have allowed other people to um invade this connection all right because there were a lot of outsiders who were nosing if that's even a word in y'all's business especially here at the five of wands trusting people too easily instead of confiding in each other you guys both of you were confiding in other people about this connection of course that's going to cause outsiders to you know stick their nose in your business of course it's going to cause gossiping of course it's going to cause uh jealousy you know especially that this is a, a powerful soulmate connection it's going to cause people to be very jealous it's going to cause it's going to cause outsiders to try to separate the two of you and i feel like that's exactly what happened that's the lesson here with the five of cups even as i look at the five of cups there are three cups that have spilled down here okay there's three so there was some kind of outsider here okay then you have the nine of wands i feel like with the nine of wands um i feel like with the nine of wands the lesson here is um standing standing your ground Okay, especially for this person, or it could have been you who had people trying to control how you view this individual. Even if you had to stand against the world, if you know that this is someone that you love, you know, why allow other people to stray you away or allow other people to um, mess up your, your impression of this person? I feel like the lesson here is standing up for who you love, defending who you love. Um, you do have the six of pentacles here as well all right so another lesson here with the six of pentacles clarifying the five of cups this is talking about effort all right one of you was definitely the giver while the other was just loving the attention and the things that you were giving them because of the six six of pentacles it's all about balance needing to be restored so someone here was giving, 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 and the other person was just taking, 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 and taking, and taking, and taking, and taking. All right. Um, wow. On the back of the deck, I want to show you guys something. This Queen of Swords here giving me the evil eye. <laughs> I feel like this Queen of Swords is an outsider that was really, really determined to separate the two of you. Hence why the Five of Wands is here. The Five of Wands is commotion, not just between two lovers, but this is commotion involving or affecting the lovers and outsiders. And I feel like this Queen of Swords is not you, it's not them, but this Queen of Swords is an outsider here that caused a big mess, pretty much. <clears throat> You have the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. Three of Wands, alrighty. Mm, seven of Cups on the back, I gotta take it. I feel like the lesson here is coming in too late a little too late pretty much timing is not on someone's side because i see that one of you really 
one of you really um, did meet someone new or very soon you will meet someone new and it will be too late with this seven of swords here they're gonna come in too late and then you're gonna reject them and they're gonna be leaving with a bitter taste in their mouth in clarity of the seven of swords you do have the seven of pentacles I feel like with the seven of pentacles here the one of the big lesson here is someone trying to get away with something sneaky and it didn't work out. Someone here, instead of doing the right thing and communicating with you or working on this connection, they try to still have control or keep tabs on you in some kind of sneaky way that backfired on them. Whether that was them going through third parties or a third party to you know, kind of sneak on you and, and see what's going on, and then that same third party separating the two of you. It's something sneaky here with the Seven of Swords. And with the Seven of Pentacles, they're trying to fix it, but the damage has already been done, all right? Timing is not on their end. Um, even when they do fix it, I still don't see them getting the outcome that they want with you, at least not now, okay? Or not then when it does happen. In Clarity of the Seven of Swords, you have the Seven of Cups, okay? So with the Seven of Cups, this partner here has options now. This partner has options. It doesn't matter how much work this other partner has been investing to correct their mistakes, to fix the situation. This partner here is looking towards their new beginning and the many other opportunities that they have. So th they don't even care if their person fixes this anymore because they've had enough. Then you have the three of wands here. So the three of wands this is pretty much, like I said, it's something with time. This individual will not, I don't see them getting, you know, it's like they messed up. They did something sneaky and they think they can just cover, they think they can just fix it all up, say sorry, and then boom, everything's good. No, it's going to take time with the three of wands here. You even see this individual here waiting for their ships to sail in and they're looking here at their clock. It's going to take time, all right? And it's just because the damage that they did was big. You have the high priestess. Oh, on the back of the deck. Yeah, moon. It was some sneaky stuff that was done behind your back. Clarify the high priestess. <clears throat> Eight of swords. The hierophant. Hmm. I want to pull out one more. The lesson, the lesson. I feel like this lesson is for you, the watcher. This is all about trusting your intuition, you know, and 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 looking towards your intuition for guidance and, and nothing else and no one else. You are your own advisor. You are the high priestess. You are very intuitive. The high priestess is someone who's highly intuitive, highly insightful, very wise, very, very wise. But you refuse to listen to your intuition many times in this situation, leading you to feeling stuck. The Eight of Swords is someone who does not know what to do. You know what to do. You're the high priestess. You're even the hierophant here. People come to you for advice. So why do you, why do you think that you're, you're, you, why was it that, pretty much why was it that you were not able to take action on something here? When you are not just the high priestess, but you're the hierophant. Don't underestimate your wisdom. Don't underestimate your spiritual gifts as well. Some of you guys are, like I said, intuitive people who see things ahead of time, who knows how things are going to happen. And for some of this, you could have you could have prevented it instead of keeping yourself stuck. And clarity of the high priestess, you have the nine of swords. Okay, this is some regrets because you knew this situation would turn out this way. You are the high priestess. You know it. Even if they don't tell you, even if you don't see physical proof, you know it already. In Clarity of the High Priestess, you have the Page of Pentacles. All right? So the Page of Pentacles here, I do feel like with this, with this Page of Pentacles, for some reason I heard that you know your person wants to give you an offer, but you know that they need a little bit of, a, of an encouragement. Some of you will do it. Some of you will be like, no, this is on them. You want to see how they're going to sort this situation out. All right, you know that your person wants to communicate, but it's like you want to see what they're going to do. This is you on the back of the deck, two of wands, watching the situation. The thing is, 
you're standing your ground. You know, I see that you are balanced. You see this situation. You see every angle. You know what's happening. You're just watching now to see how it's going to play out. All right? So I feel like the high priestess, the lesson in this is just trusting your intuition. All right? So thank you guys so much. I really hope this reading helps. Remember, it's general, so you're welcome to book a private reading with me um, by visiting my website. The link is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys so much. Please be safe out there, and you have a great day.